Alrighty. What I've got here is something that I've been working on the last couple of weeks. I've been working on the cheapest ratting ship possible that can actually do something out here in Null, can actually earn. And, uh, all right, I don't have any skins for it. And um, I haven't put this up on EWB yet, but uh, I probably will. Uh, it'll be called DKFA Low. I have just a little bit more testing I want to do with it, but here's the deal with it. Look at the cost. 34 million. It only costs 34 million. And it has almost 400 DPS. So uh, now it's got um, it's got just one um, armor repair, and it uh, it has three uh, damage drone amplifiers. They're all Tech Two to get uh, this higher DPS. Uh, this, there's no Tech 2 version of it. It'll react to the armor however needed. So this is Omni, except that uh, you would use whatever drones are, you know, are appropriate for, for what you're doing. Uh, for out here, the, the drones are um, Imperial Navy. And I have two Praetors, uh, two Infiltrators, and one Acolyte. The reason to use these faction drones, they cost only just a tad bit more, but they have uh, higher tanks, uh, meaning that they can take more damage. And so basically, this is a speed tank fit because it has an oversized afterburner in here and it can go 1178, which is pretty fast, but you can get yourself in trouble with it too. And I'll explain that on how I'm, how I'm using this. So it has an auto-targeter and uh, that helps get you more aggro on the ship as opposed to your drones. And it does have an armor rep and it is cap stable. Now the armor rep is not very high, but we're keeping this damn cheap. And the reason to keep it so cheap is my goal was to make a ship that can do uh, do the uh, horde sites, which are uh, considered to be the highest end out here in uh, in drone space, and uh, I wanted to be able to pay it off in doing one site. It's kind of a tall order in drone areas, but typically you can get about 35 million for completing a site out here. And so this fits the bill, which means that you don't have to pay an extreme amount of attention to it because it's paid off in one site. So I thought, let's go to the, the, <laughs> the site that is the most busy and the most hazardous to work in and see if I can make any money with this ship today. I'm pretty sure I can. So let me undock here. Oh, and we're going to need to load my overview. See here. Going live shows. The Dragon's Null Overview. There we go. Changed all this stuff up. My drones. The drones are cheap enough but if you have somebody that, you know, is coming into system and you see them drop, you just instantly warp without your drones. If they're not back yet. 
All right, so this is the overview that has uh, neutrals as orange. There's no newts in here at the moment. I'm sure there will be. We're in the home system for Pandemic Horde. All right, you set your orbit at 20K. This is really important. 20K is the orbit. Um, no more, no less. And you're going to be orbiting at higher than 20k. Because, because this is so fast. So you start up both of your, um, you know, your armor rep and your reactive uh, armor hardener. You can't start these until you get there. You warp into these sites at 30. No more, no less. And when I say that, I really, really mean it. Your orbit is 20, you warp in at 30, because at 30, sometimes you are only 20 away, sometimes you're 40 away. It's really, really important to, to get your landing right because the tank is so thin on this and you're speed tanking. You have no speed when you land. So that's really, really important. All right, we're gonna go to the first one here. Oh wait, let me uh, join fleet. Yeah, let me get into fleet. Fleet now. Cool looking skin on that one. I like it. All right, so we're gonna warp in at 20. Welcome to the dragon. We're gonna warp in at, sorry, DC at 30. DC underscore Gay just followed. Uh, DC Degay, thank you for the follow, welcome. All right, warp in at 30. And then I may be paying a lot of attention okay. when I land. We're gonna orbit whatever's in the center and we're starting our propulsion right away. We are not dilly-dallying around. You'll die if you do. You need Welcome your speed tank. Welcome to the dragons. Muffinator just followed. Muffinator, thank you for the follow, welcome. Okay, there's somebody else already here. So we gotta move on to another one. I might have, this might be too busy of a system. Um, so. Drive right. active. We will get out of there. Okay, we're warping in at 30 again. If you make a mistake and you land too far, too close in or too far out, you leave. All right, here's another one. Somebody's already here. Go to the next one. Warp drive active. <laughs> this this might be the way it goes, right? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that video from Amy gave boost to new members. Yes. So this is not the same fit that uh, Amy uses. Um, it is similar though. Warp drive active. And uh, so, um, yeah, she did a video about, about joining Pandemic Horde, coming out here in just a shuttle and uh, being able to uh, make 5 billion a month starting with zero. All right, we're probably, it's looking now like we're gonna have to go to another system, but we'll, uh, we'll keep trying here. It's okay if we have to go to another okay. system. We'll go to the second busiest system.
Yeah, so you can do squads and you can grind escalations. Uh, this is more about doing stuff AFK. And so, um, because that's what we're gonna do. We're going to hardcore AFK this one. Like, even if hostiles, oh see, I landed wrong on this one. This would have meant that I left. Um, even if, if we um, have hostiles come in, I'm gonna continue to, uh, I'm going to continue to do the site. Because I kind of want to prove a point that we can uh, we, we can make money with this ship. Uh, this guy just landed here. All right. Yeah, this system is just too busy to work in. It's got a 178 drive. bounty drive. risk modifier, though. See, these guys are all doing them in Ishtars. Ishtars will do them quicker. This costs... Hmm, you can buy eight of these for the cost of one Ishtar. So, you know, there's something really to be said about that. <laughs> oh my god. I have only one more site to look at. Man, these are competitive. To get one. One more site to look okay. at and then we'll uh, we'll go next door. Hey, you can sell the escalations. I like doing the escalations if I am able to do them on the show. I don't do them off the show, typically. They sound kind of strange, because they're worth a lot. I should figure out how to sell them. All right, well, I'm screwed on this. Okay, we gotta go next door. So, we're gonna go next door. Map drive active. You know, um, uh, yay, if you have a link, um, if you have a link to the um, video that uh, Amy did, feel free to post it in, uh, in chat for people who want to see that. It's really about starting with nothing and making ending with five billion after a month. So, it's a pretty incredible video for a, a new character. So, um, she got it really dialed in. She figured it out. And, um, yeah, there's a link for it. Uh, and can you send a link in live shows? Uh, GameBud, you can. You can post a link in there. Um, the... Um, Oh, the Escalation Bazaar, yes. Yes. So, yeah, you join that channel and then you can sell them here. All right, here we go. We got one, finally. All right, I gotta click on here. I gotta immediately hit this, immediately hit this, this. Oh, I forgot to have this go running. Okay, there we go. All right, and Yep, we want uh, the small stuff here first. Oh shit, I forgot something. I gotta go. I literally gotta go. We'll come back. Drive active. I forgot one really important step for uh, a brand new ship. And that is ejecting at the sun. So we gotta go do that first. If you don't do that, your drones take too much aggro. I cannot explain why this works, but it does. You warp to the sun, you land, and then you eject from your ship, just like that. You gotta wait a second before you can get back in. Look at how big my pod is compared to the ship. And this is a small ship, too.
This keeps aggro off your drones. It's not 100%, but if you don't do this, your drones will get torn up. All right, so I'm back in. Okay, now I'm going to warp here because I want my shields back. Warp drive. It's really important. If you make any mistakes whatsoever when you land, you cannot keep up with, um, with the damage you're taking. You immediately need to land. They're going to shoot your shields off a bit. They're going to shoot your armor down halfway, maybe more, while you're getting up to speed. Once you're up to speed, unless you get, um, unless you get webbed by two or more of the ships, you're okay. If you're if you two, you're probably okay. If you are webbed by three, you're dead if you're not paying enough attention. Do you have to warp to the sun? No, you can warp to another point out someplace else. I don't know if you can do it at stations, but you just need to be away. And, and you don't want to necessarily do it at a station You'll have some asshat come out and hop into your ship or something while you're waiting for your cooldown to get back in. I did steal someone's ship one time that way. Their ship was worth like two and a half billion, some shit like that. Um, it was, he was just showing off. I showed him off back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna warp in at 30 again. I've got, I've got these running. He, by the way, was a neutral. He wasn't. Um, he wasn't like one of my corp mates or anything. And I took his ship. I did. I took his ship. All right. So here we are. Hit this as soon as I can. Hit this. Hit this. And then we're targeting the small stuff. That's what we want to target first, because we are going to manually work on those first. And then once those are gone and we're up to speed, uh, they most likely any new spawns will not catch you. I'm not too worried about a scram. Let's make sure we got focus fire and auto attack on. Webbed now. I'm still at 800. Taking these guys out. If you're really worried about it, you take out the web next. Uh, it's one of these two. I'm not too worried about it. Still got the web on me. My armor rep is holding up okay. It got me down to like 600 on the speed. And then the uh, the cruisers, they shoot uh, missiles, which they will hit you uh, most of the time. They will have some sort of impact on you. And then uh, after that, I let it go kind of on automatic. So, with that last one, I'm going to highlight all of these. If anyone comes in here and is neutral, they should appear as orange. Now, like I said, I am going to leave this guy here, even if hostiles come in. That's pretty stupid, but I'm kind of simulating being very AFK. And so um, it'll take about 50 minutes, 55 minutes to do the site, I believe. And, uh, but for a ship cost of 35 million, uh, it's, it's very, 
It's very doable. I complete this one site and the bounty plus whatever payout from um, from the ESS will be about 35 million. Uh, if I get lucky and I kill a sentient, sentients, uh, they can be like 5 million on the bounty. And they have some loot and they have some salvage. So this ship does not have any salvage on it. Since I'm running solo, maybe I should. Usually I have another ship that comes in and salvages. Um, so the salvage on sentient uh, drones tends to be worth more than the loot it drops. So, and you heard that the drone Gravitron emitter is dropped only in high sec. Well, that may be, that may be. So, and it looks like that's what's, uh, what's going on. So that's good for the people in high sec. I'm not gonna go to high sec to do it though. So, but it's good for, good for people in high sec. They need some more options. And I will buy, potentially buy the new MTUs when, uh, when they're on the market and when the price is, let's just say, real. First ones on the market are gonna be way expensive. They'll be super inflated because they're the first ones. So, we've got uh, new stuff that's appeared. I'm flying at 920. Hmm. Why am I only at 920? Is that just the fastest that I can go? This character is not the highest skilled either. I'm orbiting at 20. All right, there's, uh, there's a little bit more with this, which is that when you orbit closer in, so you notice that this one is yellow boxing me and it's probably not gonna change. Um, so when you, um, when you are uh, orbiting closer in, then all of them will be red boxing you. It's more likely that all of them will be red boxing you. But you'll go slower on your speed. And this, since this is a speed tank ship, speed is important. Um, when you are uh, further out, like let's say we orbit at 25 instead of 20, well, what happens is you get a lot more yellow boxing and uh, which just means that your drones will not automatically attack them. So um, that, that's a problem too, but there is one maintenance item on doing this, even though uh, you may want to do these AFK or whatnot, is that you will have some that will yellow box you, which means they're not shooting at you, but you will have some that will yellow box you and they will hold up the next spawn. And so you do end up needing to kill them. So I don't worry about them too often, but you want to check in on your ship a couple of times while it's doing a site. Um, so now I've hit triggers here and we've got more stuff out here. In fact, we've got enough stuff out here that I'm targeting as many as I can and uh, which this character, like I said, is low skills on that. Uh, lower skills on a lot of stuff here, actually. So that's probably why it's going a little bit slower speed, because I know I get well over a thousand on my other character that has mastery five. And, and this character is at 921. 
So, um, it's fighting one of them that I don't know which. But my armor is still holding up okay. As long as I don't get caught up on a bunch of the the structure stuff here, which in both of these, uh, this kind, you might bump into the structure here a little bit. Doesn't seem to slow you down too much. You kind of veer a little bit. And um, here, will I bump into that? No. But you kind of veer just a little bit and you get your speed again. Uh, with the ones that have the turrets in the middle, uh, the eight turrets or so, uh, those ones there's nothing you'll bump into. So, but you do for that type of site. For this one, you clear out the frigates first. I clear out the frigates and the cruisers. Everything through up to cruisers, starting with frigates. For the uh, the other type of site that's out here, which is one cruiser and like eight missile silos. Uh, you got to take out all the missile silos first because the auto attack on the drones, they may go after the, the cruiser at first and then you have a whole spawn on top of all of that stuff hitting you. And the damage coming from those missiles is, it's a lot. You can handle it like you could not kill anything and you could just keep orbiting and you would keep up. But when you get another big spawn on top of it, no, you're you're gonna die. So, uh, so you do need to take out. I take out all of those missiles, every single one of them, before I just let it go on it. Switch it. Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. We are doing probably the the cheapest AFK. Uh, ratting ship in existence. 34 million. Pays for itself in one site. So, showing it for the first time here. And probably by the end of the day, we'll have it up on EWB. Assuming it's not a total failure. It's also cheap enough that if you lose it, because you're not paying attention, so what? You pay for it in one site. I don't even know which one they're fighting. I've got too many more um, rats in here than what I can target. I think it's, it's doing fine currently. Good night, switch hit. If you start getting nervous or whatnot, then focus on the frigates. Take them out. You know, maybe if you have lower skills that, you know, you're gonna need to pay more attention to it. This character here, has I'd call it medium skills. I have I have the full skills on drone damage. I have the full skills on ship. I obviously do not have the full skills in propulsion, or I've got something going on with it that it's just running just a little bit slower than uh, my guy I tested this on that has mastery five on the ship. What is my mastery on? Mastery one. Hmm, yes. What's missing? Gunnery. Oh, guns. Well, I don't care about guns. Or weapon fitting. Magnetronic targeting. Oh, I've got that in the queue. Medium drones. Got the MR drone specialization, which is what I'm using out here. About the turrets, navigation, warp drive operation, 
on high speed maneuvering. Well, let's see, that's uh, micro warp capacitor usage. We're not using a micro warp. Hmm. Something on here that's. Still needed. Get a little bit more speed out of it. I don't know what it is. Typically, the drones will go after the bigger ships first. Uh, right now, they're going after some cruisers, which is nice. And then we still have the one that's yellow boxing. It's been hanging around a long time. And you can see here, I haven't really been caught by anything. Acceleration control for micro warp drive speed bonus, but this has an afterburner. Do you really think that that, uh, that affects the afterburner too? High speed maneuvering, skill at using micro warp drives 5% reduction in micro warp drive capacitor usage per skill level. It does both, even though it doesn't say it does both. Okay, so we're at 922. Let's add a level to this. Okay, we just added a level. Skill training completed. Let me cycle this, see if it makes any difference. It doesn't say anything about speed on that though. It says, it says specifically reduction in capacitor usage. Nothing about speed. Micro warp drive operation? Oh, yeah, okay. 10% reduction capacitor speed. Skill at managing warp drive efficiency. Uh, we are faster now. That is really strange. All right, so that's uh, Muffinator. That is, that is a really good catch. Um, so... We got high speed maneuvering here, and it, you can very specifically see that it says that, um, oh wait, we slowed down again. Why'd we slow down again? We're not webbed or anything. Did I bump into something? It was up to 935. Now I'm down to 907. What's going on? I'm going slower now. <laughs> What's the deal? I tell you, it was up to uh, 935 I saw it at. The afterburner here. Acceleration control. This is the one bonus to speed. I'm at 925 now. Maybe as long as I don't bump into anything. Three. Well, let's just add another couple levels. We'll see what happens here. Skill training. 
training completed. Skill training completed. Uh, I'm gonna recycle this. On again. Welcome to the dragons. Bugger you just followed. Bugger two, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay, we were consistently, pretty consistently at nine uh, twenty-two. See what happens here. I moved it up to, and that was at level one on that. We moved it up to level four. Little bugger two. Yeah, see now we're at 940, 945. That is so strange because that, that item in there does not say anything about giving you more speed. It just talks about, about, um, about cap use reduction. So, well now we're slower again. What is the deal with that? We didn't bump into anything. I don't, I don't understand that. See, now we're down to 895. Is there a higher gravitational pull on certain sides of the, the orbit? <laughs> After 920. That comment was kind of a joke, but it, I, how do I explain what's going on here? I don't have an explanation. Now we're up to 9.30. We were pretty consistently like 9.21, 9.22 before I upped that. A bump off of that? No. There's any other navigation skills here that could be affecting this that are not in the uh, mastery? Acceleration control, afterburner, evasive maneuvering, fuel conservation, high speed maneuvering. That's the one we were we were adding to. Jump drive, micro jump drive, warp drive operation. Just don't. Um, I don't see it here. I don't see what it is that uh, that's affecting this. that up in there. I don't want to spend skill points on it. I've got enough I could, but let's just leave them for, for when I've got something that I'm really trying to do and just can't. Hello, Nick Paw. Alright, I'm going to hit my F key now and let it attack that one drone that's been yellow boxing. Just to get him out of the way.
my drone split. I hate it when that happens. It really reduces effectiveness. And that's because of like shield and armor reps. So the, the lower amount of DPS you're applying to a rat, the more chance it has to rep its stuff back. Typically you'll eventually get them, but it just takes longer than if you had all the rats. So if you had two of them split on two, because my drones are split, it's gonna take longer than if I focused on one and then focused on the next. It'll just take longer because of the, the rats having their reps. So. So after we finish this site, I will take and make a, uh, an entry on uh, EWB for this. It'll be called DKFA Low. If you're watching this later on YouTube. And this is a Vexer, just a plain Vexer that incredibly has 400 DPS and is cap stable. And it's about 34 million with the drones in it. The drones are not included in this price. So the beautiful thing is it pays for itself on completing one site. So if you lose it because you're not paying attention to a rat or to players, if you've done one site in it, the cost was covered. Everything else is bonus. I have a few of them yellow boxing me now. A couple of them. Live show always open for entry. You mean the live show giveaways? No. That category is typically only on while the show is live. The giveaways category in our store is there all the time. The live shows one is typically only during the shows. Unless I forget to turn it off, which has happened a couple of times. Next day I go to turn it on, I'm like, oh, it's already on. Yeah. Shamrock? Or, uh, Shimrock. Yeah, doing good. Things are good. Life is good. Am I not live? Why? Is the category not on? Didn't I turn it on? Oh my god. Why don't you just say it's not on? I'll look and see if it's turned on. It's not turned on. My bad. All right, exclamation point giveaway. Get in there, get in on the stuff. We're giving away two drawings today. Oh, now I'm gonna have to hit for them to go hit those because they're yellow boxing me. My drones won't automatically get them. Um, we've got the one that we did not draw on the last show because I left abruptly. And then, um, and then, 
I put up the AFK award, so that's a participation trophy, and I put up the AFK award, which is 500,000 skill points. And we'll be drawing that today as well, unless we hit a hype train. Then we'll see wherever the hype train takes us. I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker. Swamp Pig One just subscribed. Thanks right. for the shows. Yeah, Swamp Pig. Seventy-five months as a sub too. Excellent. It's a long time. How about four thousand five hundred gold to everybody here in Swamp Pig's honor? Right. This is working out nicely. Welcome to the Dragons. Savril just followed. Oh, hype train. Dragons have balls of steel. J underscore 75 just subscribed. Right. I keep saying I need to change that, and I forget to do it when I'm off the show. <laughs> uh, hype train started. It's not quite reached level one. If it reaches level one, there'll be a drawing happening like right after it ends, or level one or higher. And J seventy five forty three months as a sub. All right, taking care of a customer real quick. Right, we have a hostel in system. I have said that I wasn't gonna go anywhere if hostels showed up. This is a cheap ship. I'm just gonna let it go. All right, so 43 months as a sub from Jay. 1290 gold. Everybody here in your honor. Thank you, thank you. It's kind of foolish of me to just uh, keep going with hostile and system, but yep, he went, he just. Pass th passing through. He's gone. I just want to kind of prove a point that I can make profit with this with uh, not worrying I'm about things as much. Oh, look at that. Just subscribed. Oh, a hype train. Oh, yes. And yes, definitely a hype train happening now. So it's definitely going to be a drawing. Definitely of hype train level one, which is 250,000 skill points. Oh no, we completed level two because of that, because uh, Big Tomagoo, 108 months at tier three, which is gonna be an enormous amount of gold too. Um, so, hype train level two, is that the Nurgle? That's the last one. If we end on hype train level two, that is the last Nurgle. Uh, steel skin and um, if we if we uh, do complete that one I will not be replacing it if we hit you, level sir, two rock. again Flicker then two just subscribed for three months then we How's will it going? draw level three 
and so on. We're going to go through some of these uh, some of these items that uh, that I have before replacing all the giveaways with some Dragons new stuff. Dragons have balls of steel. Okay, let me Leroy try and catch Squirrel up here. Just subscribed. So, Big Tomagoo, 108 months at tier three, nine years. That's nine years. 48,600 gold. Forty-eight thousand six hundred gold to everybody here in Big Tomagoo's honor, and then uh, flick your bick. Three months as a sub, another thirty gold. And then Leroy the Squirrel, forty-one months as a sub. All right, sweet. How about another twelve hundred and thirty gold to everybody here? You sir, Squirrel's rock. Tupa Cheese Jesus just subscribed. Okay, Tupac is Jesus. <laughs> How about another 1,000 gold to everybody here in honor of Tupac is Jesus for using the prime. Thank you, thank you. All right, we are well into level three. We could hit, or we're well into level two. We could hit level three. Let's see here. So that's the wrong giveaway category. How about this one? All right, so level two is a Nurgle Steel Skin. This is the last one. If we hit three, then, oh yeah, it's the uh, Proteus uh, Copus Edge Skin. All right, we'll see where we end up. Either way, it's good stuff. Two. These might be the last two rats. I don't know. Let's see. Could potentially be one left. If we finish this and the loot in the ESS does not get stolen, then off one site we have paid for this ship. All right, the um, hype train completed. So we made it into level two. Thank you for everybody being so generous. We made it into level two, and that will be the Nurgle Steel Skin giveaway. So, final call to get in on that. We'll draw here in a couple minutes on that. It is the very last one of those I have to give away. The very last one. So, and then like I said, I won't be replacing that, and if we hit level two again, then uh, we're gonna draw level three, so they're gonna go up. Uh, Will says, thank you for contributions to online gaming for all this time. Be blessed and be a blessing. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Look at that. 
We finished the site. Okay, and we just got paid. So here's the new overview, which is in live shows. And here's the loot that I was telling you about, where it nicely shows you all of your loot. There's nothing here that's extra that, um, um, that needs to be needs to be salvaged or anything like that. So we're gonna go and dock up here for just a minute. Self drive. Let's see how much we earned so far off of this. Looks like nine, 20, 20 million. Okay, so then we'll have to see what the ESS equals, which will equal another 10 million or so. So it's just under what the what the uh, cost of the ship is. That's okay. My target was to keep the ship's value under 35 million. Docking request accepted. So let's uh, go ahead and put this up on EWB real quick. And we should probably make a couple of notes on it. Copy to clipboard. Then do make sure you're in on this Nurgle Steel Skin one here. We're drawing that just a moment. Let's see here. Fits. new god damn these ads god this irritates me how these ads come up over the menus i mean i love ewb we, we give them a lot of support man i hate those ads though all right new fit Okay, so
All right. There we go. Pit is up. Welcome to the dragons. Alexander underscore NS underscore 158 just followed. All right. Alexander, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay. Let's do this draw now. It's for the Nurgle. If you're watching on YouTube, um, that fit is in the link for EWB. It is called DKFA space low. And see you in the next episode.